Hey hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest fully upgraded planes in terms of top speed. We're quickly going to go over the slowest vehicles right now and as always the position counter is in the top left with the actual top speed the vehicle achieved in the top right. This video only focuses on straight line performance so if you're interested in racing where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series and if you want to know more information about this testing including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the Arena War update. For planes added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist link in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get these testing results a few days before the videos go up every Thursday. So, for the first time ever, every single vehicle in the planes class has been tested for top speed and you're seeing them all now. Very interesting that the Ultralight and the Bombushka were our, our bottom two, um, and even the Blimps were quicker than those two vehicles, which is, I couldn't believe it myself personally, but the Bombushka really is a slow one. Anyway, we're into the top 13, we're already seeing some crazy top speeds here, over 130 miles per hour. These are already getting to the levels of top speeds that we see from the very, very quickest cars in the game. When we get to 22nd place, we're going to be seeing planes that are quicker than every other land vehicle in the game. And when we get to 16th place, we're going to start seeing planes that are quicker than anything else. So not even helicopters, boats, bikes, cars. From 16th place onwards, we're going to see things that are quicker than literally everything else in the game. Now, something that I want to point out before we get into the top few is a few basic caveats, which I covered in the lap time testing video as well, but all of these are in the planes class. There is no jets class that's only used for racers. Everything is specifically in one class and it's all just called planes officially. Um, the idea with this testing is to keep things as straight as possible. You can get obviously higher top speeds by diving down and things like that, but this is all top speed when keeping the plane as straight as possible between two checkpoints. Certain planes can't be used in races, it's easy to tell which those are because they won't have an intro screen like the Tula here, which is in the, the race lobby, if it doesn't have a screen like that for the intro, you can't use it in a race. You, the, some planes do get uh, variations to upgrades, so some planes get engine upgrades and also handling upgrades, but engine upgrades are the ones that are most important here because they do increase top speed um, by you know around 10 to 20 miles per hour, something like that. So those are obviously going to have a little bit of an, of an advantage because they have those upgrades to them. It's mainly the newer planes that get that. Now obviously like the lap time testing video, this doesn't talk about any dogfighting ability or anything like that. This is purely just about their top speed performance, which is the, their ability to get basically from one side of the map to the other as quickly as possible. Also, there is a limit to planes, so planes that are above a certain limit will go quicker than planes below a certain limit. That limit is around 900 feet and it's about the height of the Vinewood Hills. That is a hard limit, it's not just a case of the higher it goes, the quicker it will be. But if you're below that limit, planes will be slower. If you're above to the tune of about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but it does vary to plane to plane. If you're above that limit, planes will be getting the top speeds that you're seeing in this video. So the, this testing is all done from above that limit. So these really are the quickest possible vehicles that you can access in GTA going at their highest speeds. In a straight line. Also finally planes are quite susceptible to frame rates where higher frame rates give higher speeds so I'm testing everything at 30 FPS because that's what the consoles are at and that's how I've always tested but uh, those on PC at higher frame rates may experience quicker lap times, higher top speeds, things like that. So that's everything, that should be everything that I need to mention for planes. There's so much, so many nuances and, uh, and caveats that need to be explained when it comes to planes but uh, we're finally into the list and, and there are some more differences to what we saw with the lap times in terms of the order because maneuverability isn't a factor at all. You know, when it comes to lap time, it's all about how quick, how well planes can corner and get around the track, but that has no effect here. This is literally all about how quick they can go from point A to point B. And there's some very interesting ones. For example, the volatile here is much better in terms of its position from a top speed perspective in comparison to a lap time perspective 
We saw the B11 Strike Force in 16th place, which was you know for one of the most one of the most recent planes that we've had added to the game. Bit of a disappointing with it, uh, bit of a disappointing top speed that it has there. But having said that, it is still quicker than any other vehicle from any other class. So at this point, you know the Avenger in 12th place with a very good 178.5 miles per hour, um, and also the Starling in 11th place with 187.8. That is, with its boost active, I decided to just go full boost on this to see how quickly it could really go. Because you, you do get quite a significant amount for it. These are some incredible top speeds. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. And as we come into the top 10 with the Bezra, we see 189.3 miles per hour, far and away above the quickest that we've seen previously. The quickest helicopter was just over 160 miles per hour. The quickest land vehicle in the game is 150. So this is ridiculous now the Bezra does pretty well considering it doesn't have any engine upgrades increasing its top speed but a lot of the vehicles that we see in this top 10 are going to be newer planes that do have upgrades to their engine to give them an extra 10 20 miles per hour that you get from adding that upgrade so the Seabreeze in ninth place managing to get into top 10 for both lists pretty impressive from the Seabreeze the first vehicle to get over 190 miles per hour with 191.8 and then we got an old vehicle just after it with the laser with a, a really great top speed again considering that it doesn't have any engine upgrades of 195 miles per hour so you know if you just need a quick vehicle and you, you're around the airbase and you just jump in and go get into the laser it'll do you very very well to get across the map you know it's it's the eighth quickest plane in the game and that also means at this point it's the eighth quickest vehicle in the entire game when it comes to top speeds that's what we're looking at now we're not just looking at the nakota being the seventh quickest vehicle in the planes class it's the seventh quickest vehicle in the entire game for top speed so 200 miles per hour for the nakota 201 at least is the first vehicle to go over 200 miles per hour so that means our entire top seven are all going to be over the 200 mile per hour barrier which is unbelievable i didn't think anything would be able to you know be above that when you consider that supercars the, the even the best regular supercars are getting 130 miles per hour these planes are just something else alpha z1 in sixth place only just ahead of what we've just seen with a 201.5 miles per hour uh, top speed and then just ahead of it we've got the howard nx25 swapping positions from the previous video just scraping into the top five 203.8 miles per hour for the Howard just a few miles per hour quicker than the Alpha which allows it to get into that top five position now this is where we start to see some bigger gaps between the top few we've seen it pretty close in certain areas although there have been some significant gaps uh, throughout the course of the list but we see a big one here up to fourth place with the Molotov the, this top speed of 207.8 although it's not the biggest leap it's not like a 10 mile per hour difference it is bigger than what we've you know seen previously four mile per hour difference there but there were four or five vehicles that were all within a couple you know four four mile per hour previously so very good for the Molotov with 207.8 but just misses out on third place to the Hydra which again puts in a great performance considering it doesn't get any engine upgrades to have a top speed of 209.3 miles per hour really impressive performance from the hydra Con like i say considering it doesn't get any engine upgrades and it's basically completely stock but the top two are in a league of their own in second place we've got the rogue the rogue has a top speed of 219.5 miles per hour 10 miles per hour quicker than the hydra is absolutely insane and then our number one vehicle is even quicker than that it manages to break the 220 mile per hour barrier which is an unbelievable top speed from of course the pyro 222.8 miles per hour for its top speed it is the quickest thing in the entire game if you want to go from one side of the map to the other the pyro is absolutely the quickest way to do it and if you want to just experience the highest speed you could possibly travel the pyro is the way to do it 222 miles per hour is absolutely ridiculous it's more than double the speed of most cars in the entire game 
and we can see a comparison here between the pyro and the hydra again the hydra does pretty well even at you know at these top speeds the map feels so small that you're not really noticing too much of a difference but like i said the strike force which is our newest plane to be added to the game is a little bit more of a disappointment that's a much bigger difference there that you can see and like i said these are all the top speeds when you're above that limit um if you're below that limit uh, you know if you're wanting to go 200 miles per hour close to the ground you're not going to be able to do that because there is just a hard limit where as soon as you go below that planes will be artificially slowed but if you want to get the maximum speed that you possibly can from any vehicle in gta 5 the pyro is the way to do it and that top speed that maximum speed at least in a straight line is 222.8 miles per hour it's scarcely believable so that's it we're all done at this point feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for new testing videos every thursday and update videos when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist we are obviously going to be continuing with testing videos throughout 2019 whether it will be making 2019 specific update videos for classes or some spin-off type videos there's plenty more to sort of look at and cover but it's so great to have finally had this done i previously not tested any plane before in terms of top speed back when i did the 2015 planes testing i didn't use to test top speed back then so to have done all this all 36 planes that we have now tested for top speed it wasn't the easiest thing in the world that i've ever done in fact it was very difficult but it's it feels so good to have it all done and hopefully you guys have enjoyed and you guys are happy to now know the top speeds of every single vehicle in the game. Thank you so much, as always, for the support, everyone. I really, really do appreciate it. That is pretty much it for this video. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more, and consider supporting on Patreon or becoming a member on YouTube. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.